Uh, good morning guys and now we go for one more derivation that is how to differential equation for 3d heat conduction now i know that i saw already uh, one dimensional that is 1d heat conduction equation differential equation for 1d heat conduction now we go for three dimensional equation now consider a small element consider a small element in a solid body having dimensions dx dy dz along xyz direction respective relation field so now same figure what you have seen for one dimension, same thing I have written, but now I had represented in the algebraic direction. Now, see if you observe your earlier one dimension only qx, q, and this will be there. That is only along x direction. Now, same thing will be extended with respect to y direction as well as z direction. Now, I am taking that volume of the element is dx into dy into dz. Now, this is your dx is a distance x axis, dz is your uh, z axis distance, and dy will be your y axis distance. That is dx, dy, and dz. dz. Figure is element subject to a heat flux in Cartesian coordinates. Now, the concept is same as that of your previous one. First, we use energy balance equation. We know that what is energy balance equation? Heat inflow plus heat generated will be equal to heat outflow plus change in internal energy. Same thing, I think I had explained already, already earlier in the previous class. That is E dot in E dot G is equal to E dot out plus E dot IE. That is internal energy. E dot in means heat inflow, heat generated heat uh, that is outflow then change in internal energy now consider with respect to the time consider the equation with respect to the time if you consider it we know that what is the in inflow heat see inflow heat is qx qy and qz now what is inflow qx into what is the area of h qx into say if you observe area dy into dz that means this boundary dy into dz dy into dz into what is that? Rate of change of time that is dt. With respect to time, you can take it. Plus that is what? dt I written here. Plus that is with respect to x direction. Similarly, repeat it with respect to y direction. qy, qy, dx into dz, dx into dz into dt. Okay. Plus z direction, qz into that is dx into dy into dt. That is now this all our heat inflow plus what is how amount of heat generated? Heat generated is capital Q. I am taking positive Q. See heat generated will be with respect to the volume of the body. Now it will be dx dy dz into dt. This will be equal to now repeat it same thing outflow. Now what is outflow? Qx plus dx into what is this? dy dz into dt because it is respect to x axis plus now right here plus qy plus dy qy plus dy into what is that dx dz into dt plus qz plus dz into what is area dx dy into dt now what is the change in internal energy change in internal energy will be equal to density that is mass into cp into same now volume dx dy dz into change in temperature capital dt change in temperature d into, into dt now this is dt is change in temperature that means what is internal energy change in internal energy will be equal to mass into specific heat specific heat into mass into specific heat into change in temperature change in temperature now this is what the equation now this equation you can elaborate it elaborate the equation now elaborate the equation what is your equation you have to elaborate it now first write right hand side what is that qx into dx dy into dt so not dx dy what is that dy dz dy dz into dt now i'll just that was at right here qx into dy dz into dt plus qy is equal to dx dz into dt plus what is qz qz into dx dy into dt plus q what is that dx dy dz into dt okay now this will be equal to now left hand side right what is that qx plus dx what is qx plus dx again right qx now observe the equation qx into what is that equation qx into dy dz 
into dt plus do qx by do x into dx dy dz into dt. Now I am just elaborating it. That is what is qx plus dx. Now similarly I have qy into what is that dx dz into dt plus do by do y into qy that is what here d x and dy dz into dt now this is second term third term qz into dy dx into dt plus do qz by do z into dx dy dz into dt now this is what elaborated now one more term rho cp into dx dy dz into change in temperature capital dt now if you observe this term and this term will cancel this term and this term will cancel and this term and this term will cancel now what are remaining is that just represent it q into dx dy dz into dt is equals to do qx by do x into dx dy dz into dt plus do qy by qy do, sorry do qy by do y into same dx dy dz into dt that is second term plus third term qz by do z into dx dy dz into dt plus rho cp into dx dy dz into change in temperature dt now dx dy dz is common so you these three terms are common now take it divide the above equation by dx dy dz into dt divide the above equation if you divide this equation this will become q is equals to do qx by do x plus do qy by do y plus do qz by do z do qz by do z plus rho into cp into now observe here dt by dt why dx dy dz cancel but dt by into small dt now this is what the equation you got it take this as your equation number one you can keep this as equation number two keep this as equation number one okay whole equation is equation number one now what is the next step bring all the terms this side that is q minus do qx by do x plus do qy by do y plus sorry this is minus minus do qz by do z is equals to rho cp into dt by dt now what is qx what is your qx qx will we know that qx from fourier equation that is conduction equation fourier conduction equation or fourier law from fourier law from fourier law fourier law what is qx us equals to minus kx into dou t by dou x correct minus kx into dou t by dou x similarly what is qy qy equals to minus ky into dou t by dou y dt by dy okay qz equals to what say minus ky into dou t by dou z sorry kz into dou t by dou z now take this as equation number three substitute back in your equation number two or equation number three you can take this substitute equation number four substitute in equation number three if you substitute this what happens just observe if you substitute it q is equals to minus of dou by dou x into what is this minus kx into dou t by dou x plus not this minus dou by dou y of minus ky into dou t by dou y minus what is that dou by dou z into minus kz into dou t by dou z is equals to rho cp by dt by small dt okay now if simplify this minus sign all are positive you can take it plus kx into dou square t by dou x square ky into dou square t by dou y square then kz into dou square t by dou z square is equals to rho cp into dt by dt okay now this is called 
heat conduction equation, general three dimensional equation for orthotropic material, general, general differential equation, differential, general differential three dimensional heat conduction equation, heat conduction equation, equation for orthotropic material, orthotropic material batch how to reduce this this isotropic material now for isotropic for isotropic material what is isotropic material the properties will be independent of orientation now properties will be independent of orientation properties will be same independent same because of this what happened kx equals to ky equals to kz this above equation can be that is equation number five can take equation number five can be reduced into q plus k you can take it common dou square t by let us make it k x square plus dou square t by dou y square plus dou square t by dou z square is equals to rho cp into dou t by dt. This can be simplified like this d square t by dou x square plus dou square t by dou y square plus dou square t by dou z square plus q by k is equal to rho cp by k into dou t by dt. This is called equation for general equation for general equation for general differential equation for isotropic material that is 3D heat conduction equation. Isotropic material. Then heat conduction equation. Heat conduction equation. Now, this still we can simplify it. Now, what are you going to make it? Now, here I take rho Cp by K will be, sorry, K by rho Cp will be equal to alpha. Alpha is called thermal diffusivity. Thermal diffusivity. Thermal diffusivity. Now, the equation can be written as dou square T by dou X square plus dou square T by dou Y square plus dou square T by dou Z square dou z square by 1 by alpha into dt by dt okay now this still you can simplify it now how to simplify it consider consider for consider for steady state condition consider for steady state condition steady state condition if you consider for steady state condition what is steady state condition dt by dt will be equal to 0, there is no change in temperature with respect to time, it will be equal to 0, if you consider for that, the equation becomes dou square t by dou x square, dou square t by dou y square, plus dou square t by dou z square, plus q by k is equal to 0, this is, this equation is known as, this equation is known as, known as, poisonous equation poisons equation in heat transfer now still we can reduce it if there is no heat source 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 or without any heat source in steady state condition first steady state condition steady state condition first in steady state condition first steady state up or steady state condition there is no heat source means q will be equal to 0 the equation becomes dou square t by dou x square dou square t by dou y square dou square t by dou z square will be equal to 0 this is also called as a del square t del square t is equal to 0 uh, this is also correct this equation is also good now this is known as this is known as laplace equation known as laplace equation but if you are ask you to derive laplace equation of this you have to do up to this otherwise if you ask you to determine the only general equation derive to this general equation for heat three times heat condition you can stop at this particular point if you ask you to further determine the poison's equation and uh, laplace equation solve up to this thank you